Some fire blanket manufacturers say you absolutely must do this before you deploy the blanket, and some say don't use any water at all. And we at Brimstone think that you should use your best professional judgment to decide how heavily involved the fire is and whether the blanket should be deployed right away or whether you should knock down some of that initial fire first. But we also want to think about firefighter safety. The fact that you're approaching the vehicle to deploy the blanket could get you in close proximity to the high heat of the vehicle and therefore might damage your PPE or cause any you know, undue risk. So if you feel like it's more appropriate to knock down the fire first before deploying the blanket, absolutely do so. Remember that the smoke being emitted from the electric vehicle batteries are a mix of potentially hazardous and potentially flammable gases. So you might want to set up a positive pressure fan to blow those gases away from the firefighters as they deploy the blanket, or even use a hand line on a fog setting to push the gases in front of the firefighters as they deploy. This will keep them out of the hazardous smoke, and if a vapor cloud ignition does occur, it'll push that vapor cloud away from them as well. When it comes time to deploy the EV fire blanket, you want to do so in a quick and efficient manner. And remember, our pull system is specifically designed to have a quick deployment method with two firefighters to let you get out of those high hazard areas as quickly as possible.